Hello, and welcome to Retro and Crapsody. This episode, The Magical World of Disney, in which we take a look at games featuring, well, Disney properties. Whether that be, you know, the big Disney hitter, Mickey Mouse, um, other D Disney properties, or even the theme parks themselves, because this is a new month, and this means a new theme. Uh, this month of July, we will be taking a look at vacation games. And what better place to start our vacation month when going to, well, the happiest place on Earth. So with that, let's go ahead and start. So, um, before we start, uh, there is something that, um, uh, yeah, so there's something that I actually screwed up last uh, two, two episodes ago uh, that I need to fix real quick. Because uh, you see, uh, two or two week or two episodes ago, when we took a look at um, stream stuff, or we look at took a look at shmups, we uh, kind of forgot that I have multiple listings and kind of listed everything in the same list. Lords of Thunder and Panzer Dragoon 2 Zvi do not belong on the attack list; they belong on the re uh, the resistance list. Uh, so I need to quick fix that. Um, so let's just quick move these over real quick. Um, yeah, so let's start with Lords of Thunder. Uh, through Lords of Thunder, let's see, where would I put Lords of Thunder? Let's At least see. right here. Resistless. I would probably play that over... Ooh, ooh, Lords yeah, of Thunder. I'm possibly thinking above Ninja Baseball Batman. That sounds about right. So I'll put that right there. Words. Yeah, sure. You gonna. Oh. I will fix the invalidated once I get everything over. And then, uh, Panzer Good 2 Zvi. I would probably play that. I'd play that above uh, Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Uh, that sounds about right to me. Five. Oh, we have 2.5. Hide then this and boom, that's fixed. Okay, enough of that. So, back to the actual episode itself. Up, oh, actually, I'll do this and then this. Okay, so back to the episode itself. So Disney, uh, geez, how do I even, I mean, how do you even, uh, oh, thank you for the sub. Uh, yeah, so Disney, where do I even start? Uh, mega conglomerate of animator, or like animation powerhouse, Mickey Mouse. The mouse. Yes. Uh, yeah, so... I was actually doing a little bit of research and trying to figure out what was the first Disney video game. Or at least video game, first di video game based on a Disney property. Um, and it turned out actually to not be, or to be something you wouldn't, I mean, considering what it is, it's very fitting. Uh, but it's something that you probably might not expect would be the first. And hopefully it pops up. Let me do this. So this, let's get the thing. Oh, it's not going to do this until I hit start. Oh, uh, let me quick actually do this real quick. Oop, there we go. Uh, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, okay, anyway. 
So uh, apparently I can't, I got to get rid of these quarters. Anyway, this is Tron. This is a arcade game based on the uh, 1982 movie Tron. Came out the same year. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start. Also, I need to probably turn it up a little bit. Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh. So yeah, Tron. <laughs> yeah. God, it's always so obvious in retrospect. So, uh, this game is weird because it's four mini games broken up into one. Uh, we have this one, which where we have to destroy these spider things and get into the IO tower, and we did. Uh, then let's go up. Ah, naturally, this is gonna show up. Oh, hey, that sound effect. So this is the light cycle. Um, so this game was really weird because it. It had two different control kind of things. Uh, I believe with your left hand, you would control a dial, which you use to, which you'll see here. So like the dial will uh, turn the tur tank turret around, but you also have like a flight stick joystick with a trigger on it. So it's weird how it's two completely separate uh, things. Also this last mini game sucks. Yeah, we got to enter in the master control program co uh, core. Basically doing a little bit of this kind of thing. Uh, God damn. I'm, kind of, I'm not. I'm not surprised that only the light cycle really was the bit that took off. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Tron's a good movie, Max. Yes, it is. Uh, it is definitely has some age to it, but um, not that bad. And I also think Tron Legacy is also pretty. Fun. Maybe not as innovative as the original Tron, but it's okay. not a bad movie. So yeah, whenever you uh, beat all four stages, you go up a level, which has different... Basically, it's just the same things, but harder. Also, I should have mentioned this is a Valley Midway game. Also, all the uh, levels are named after programming either languages or just other concepts. For example, COBOL uh, RPG uh, from the first stage, I believe, with was um, named after IBM RPG, I believe it is called. Which I look, I think it's like a uh, it's like reporting something or something like that. The fact that the bullets bounce is really weird. Yeah. Also, this is a, a really weird thing of uh, for initials because you only get... Uh, let's see. You only get two. Oh, let's, let's continue. Let's go back to the tanks. Whoop! Oh, yeah, I should have... Not turn there. Okay. Good. There. Nope. Yeah, because I don't, I don't. I think not only will their shots block your shots, but I believe it'll, you, they will not go away. So you have to. You, oh, also, you, you. It's kind of finicky. Uh, I believe that this this seems like I don't exactly know the order, but uh, I do believe that this is running on the same kind of engine that's uh, another game that uh, I believe uh, that Midway at least published, uh, which was Satan's Hollow, because I know that they have a very similar initials kind of thing. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, one thing I do want to quick show off uh, is this game had some pretty neat um, inside uh, cabinet artwork. Which uh, they have actually, if I remember, do here. And I think it's this. Or no, it's this. So yeah. This had a really cool looking cabinet. So this would be like, if that top bit would be kind of above at an angle in the sides. So yeah. I thought that was kind of neat that it's in there. Uh, but yeah. Uh, that's Tron. So. I would definitely categorize that as an attack game. Yeah, I mean, it's a really neat concept, but I don't think I'd actually play it all that much. And the thing is, is that normally there would be a case of like, oh, it's weird that it's like, 
Playing it on the actual hardware itself might make it better. I don't think it actually did, because if you're thinking about it, you're playing that with like, imagine like a, the joystick on a flight stick. And that just, for a game like that, just feels really weird. Like, it's, that's not the kind of uh, control scheme you'd want, like, almost like a traditional, like, arcade joystick. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what you get anyway. Uh, so I'm going to put that away. So, okay. So, yeah, Tron. Let's see, what do we got? I would put that above Roadrunner, but I would not put that above Thunder Force 4. Yeah. Okay, so 13.5. Um, yep, and that is Tron. That is episode 19. That was a 1982 game. Uh, let me also just make sure that I got the name, I, I got the company right. I want to say it's Valley Midway, but that could actually be Atari. Um, <laughs> I cute. I like how uh, Wikipedia has the uh, developers as this. Um, it is in fact developed by uh, Valley Midway, but uh, underneath that they have that it was also developed by Encom International. Which, if you have not seen the movie, that is the big bad corporation of that movie. <laughs> So I thought that was cute. Because I bet you they had that kind of stuff in the actual uh, thing. But yeah. Um, so that's an arcade game. Uh, oh, I'm just going to call this an action game and just call it a day. A uh, tone. Kind of a tone, honestly. I the only thing I could, other thing I think of other than atonal is I mean this was meant to kind of cash in the movie but I don't think it's quite nearly as cash driven as it was its own kind of thing. Yeah, it's like I mean yeah those four things are straight up the movie movie but it's like this is a lot better done quote unquote than the usual like where you see it's a cash cash grab thing. Yeah. Um, also, just to, since it's listed here, other stages are, let's see, we got RPG, COBOL, BASIC, FORTRAN, SNOWBALL, PL1, PASCAL, ALGOL, ASSEMBLY, OS, JCL, and USER. So yeah, basically your, your standard 80s ass programming stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, also, let me just, just for my own giggles, it is IBM RPG. It stands for Report Program Generator. And it was basically a punch card tool that basically helps with reporting. So yeah, not, not role-playing game. So, um, also one thing I did uh, change because I, we've had the tendency to kind of stumble on what exactly world and craft meant. So I've renamed them to Art and Mechanics. I was actually going to put this as Charm, but um, yeah, I just decided because that, that kind of felt kind of felt mean giving games that didn't really have like didn't have like art. I didn't want to say they didn't have Charm, so I just kind of art. Um, yeah, that helps. So. I would probably give it a C or B it, for art, art at least. Then yeah. I'll give it a C because I mean it's 82. Yeah. Um OST though. Um non existent. They, uh the one thing I will at least give it a little bit of credit for, they did actually have some of the little uh two or I guess not medleys, but uh some of the little stings from the uh actual soundtrack. So they did at least incorporate that, which I thought was kind of neat, even though there's the only there's only one stage that actually has music inside of it, and that's the uh, when you're feeding the feeding the spiders going into the IO tower, um, which it plays the theme from Tron. Which actually now now that I remember that this anyway that that's something different. Uh, yeah, I'll just give it. Um, I'll give it an X in that case because they're really you only have the that one song. Yeah. Um, mechanics. 
they're definitely trying something here, and it's especially weird to see a, a game like that have a dial. Um, yeah. Especially at that age, because you didn't really see... The only games that had dials at that point were basically Breakout. And this was, like, the first to try and uh, incorporate that, like, before, like, Akari Warriors, before uh, even Frontline with its uh, dual joystick setup. I thought that it's neat, although... In retrospect, it is a little bit weird. Um, so, I'd want to just give it at least a C, at least for effort. Yeah, even that's though what I would even though it's not great to play nowadays, it's still like it's a it's a neat way to solve a problem that they didn't realize that uh, they didn't. No one really tried and solved. I mean, the Tron Light Cycle still plays well, but there's yeah. a reason why that's that one is the one everyone remembers. Yeah. Because, that I mean, this probably came out... I can't remember when Snake came out, but this kind of was like a proto-Snake. So... But yeah, the other stages feel a little weird, and also the MCP stage also feels a little clunky because your hitbox is huge. Or at least the hurt box for the little the actual cone itself is really big. Um, so there's that. It's all good to see. Uh, impact. Um, from what I remember, um, naturally the only place I've seen this in an arcade was uh, at you know Disney World because I've never yeah. seen it in an arcade anywhere else. But then again. With the age of that, the age of that game also probably didn't really help. Um, so, but at the same time, I would probably give it at least a C or a B, just because again, that one fourth of the game is still very good and still made. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to see if I can see anything. Uh, this game did apparently win. Uh, let's see. Um. Reading the Wikipedia article, the New York Times reported that 800 arcade cabinets were sold by 1982. The book, The Naked Computer, reported that Tron made $45 million by 1983. In, uh, in U.S. gamers' estimation, 10,000 cabinets were sold and they gained more than 30, or $30 million of revenue by 1983. Uh, I don't have anything to compare it to, but $30 million in, in, in the 80s money? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so I would probably give it a C. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. Also, you can play it in other... They have uh, they have brought that game out to other uh, platforms. Uh, age. Uh, this definitely has aged quite a bit. Um, so I would probably say at least a C. I don't know if I'd go into full D territory. Um, because it's still pretty playable. Yeah. Also, it'd be weird to play it. It kind of fits into the game, actually. Like, if you're playing a game based on an 80s movie, like, having it be a little janky actually kind of makes it a little bit better. So I think I might actually give it a C. Um, also, touch. Why don't I just give it a C just to round it out? <laughs> Because, I mean, that's yeah. also what it kind of fits. Like, it's difficult. Like, it's tricky, but it's not... You can get the concept pretty quickly. So, yeah. I'll give it a C. Just for giggles. Yeah. A straight neutral game would actually be a really good way to describe that. Uh, but, yeah. That's Tron. Uh, so, that's the earliest Disney game I could find. Um, but, um, we're talking about Vacation. And if uh, we're talking about vacation, uh, might as well just actually, you know, go straight to the source. Or say straight to the big place. This is the Adventures of Magic Kingdom. Um, so yeah, this is a really weird game. Um, did not come out in a. It came, this apparently came out. I was looking it up in five different locations. 
It came out in the British Isles, came out in North America, came out in Finland, uh, came out in Australasia, and one other place. Oddly enough, not Japan. So it was a Capcom developed game that did not come out in Japan. Uh, which is weird because this is actually this music, uh, Yoko Shinomura. So I guess there's your Kingdom Hearts tie. <laughs> and right there. <laughs> okay, so let's put our name Even, even now, the dark, the dark curse of Kingdom Hearts reaches upon backwards in time. Good, I'm glad Seth was able to hear that. <laughs> or to recognize that. So. You have the big parade. But Goofy... Being goofy, lost the keys to the castle. Um, also, with the fact this game was developed in 1990, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, so there are six keys we need to find. Five of them are in attractions, but we need to find the sixth one on our own. So, we are on this map. We are this boy. We have a cowboy hat for some reason. Also, we have a very crude rendition of the, ma uh, the specifically the Magic Kingdom in uh, the actual Walt Disney World. So this will be the Orlando, Florida um, uh, location. Uh, there is someone here. So here's how you find one of the keys. Uh, there will be people walking, or people sitting around, and you need to answer trivia questions. So how many ghosts are there in the Haunted Mansion? There is 999, which I bet you that has changed from now. Okay, we're on Space Mountain. Um, so there are in fact levels in this game based on the various attractions, or some of the bigger attractions found in Disney. Oh, that's gotta be Walt Disney World. Huh. Tokyo Disneyland? Huh. Okay. Um, so why don't we actually take a look at one, uh, at least some of the uh, the attractions. Um, just gonna give you a heads up. This game takes like 20 minutes to beat, so we're gonna be seeing everything. Uh, we have five attractions, though. Or they have modeled five attractions based on, you know, Disney World stuff. Uh, so we got Space Mountain. We got Autotopia, which I don't think exists anymore. Um, we have... I think, nope, that's not anything. I don't know what that would have been. Uh, we have Big Thunder Mountain. We have the Haunted Mansion, and we have Pirates of the Caribbean. So which one do you want to take a look at first? Pirates. Okay. So the Pirates of the Caribbean stage, um... There's two stages that follow the same template, uh, which is basically, these are pretty much straight up uh, action games, or straight up like side scroller action games. Uh, we have three hearts. Uh, we currently have no way method of attack, and we this is not a Mario style game where we can jump on people. So we got strictly avoid. Whoop. Uh, the stars are basically kind of a currency, uh, because if I hit select, we can actually buy uh, some stuff with stars we found. Whoop. Uh, so our goal right here is to find there are six uh, six hostages that we need to find. Yep, and there's one. Also, this feels very ghouls and ghosty. But also, I'm I'm going to heavily rewind because this game's also notoriously hard. Oops. Also, your hitbox is huge. Okay. Oops. Ah. Okay, that's right. Because the weird thing is, is that the cannonball will not hurt you. The splash will.
Haru. Also, yeah, that's right, that's... This is placed really, really poorly. Because there's no way to go up that ladder without taking damage. Oh, also this candle? Porn. Did we... Oh, maybe not. Okay, so now we actually have a method of attack. Those kind of... The guys there kind of have a Mr. Magoo thing going on for them. Oh, damn it. Oh, mm. This jump is kind of a dick. Ah, jeez. Okay, there we go. Oh. There. Yeah, uh, a lot of Capcom games kind of share the same kind of sound stuff. Oop, oh, do I have... I missed a hostage somewhere. Which, also, that's one thing that uh, they don't tell you about. You have a timer. I think I missed a hostage, which means that I... Uh, might be screwed. Yep. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Uh, also, if you die, you have to start that entire stage over again. Oh boy. Is that enough? Yes! Okay, so now that we've rescued all the hostages... Light the flare... And now! So yeah, that is the pirate stage. And now we have the key. Okay, what attraction do you want to see next? Let's get this. Let's talk to this guy first. Okay. Uh, that would be Daisy. Okay, Max wants to see space. Oh god, Space Mountain. Okay, so. Uh, how do you like Dragon's Lair? Oh god, no. 
Yeah, you see that? See at the bottom? I mean, this stage has the best music in the game. Okay, so we are now on stage B. We need to get to stage F. By the way, when that ship comes up and that button press comes up, oh. That button press comes up, it is a specific button. So when the ships come up, you have to, whoop, I didn't notice. Uh, you have to hit B, and if the plan comes up, you have to hit A. Uh, okay. Whoop, and if you hit the wrong button, you, you know. God, this whoop. UI makes it really hard to notice how much health you have left. Yes, whoop. So here's the f here's the annoying ones. It's left or right, but the thing is, it is either one of them, and you don't have a way to tell which one. Great. Go into straight up luck. Does it change the seed every time you do it, or is it yes. set when you can do it? It's random. Tokyo, Big Thunder Mountain, and the uh, Haunted Mansion left. Uh, Frank wanted to see cars, so let's go to Autopia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay. Okay. Also, this is really bad. Oh, so the thing that you might not be able to tell is that there's a delay. There's a slight delay in moving left and right. Also, you have infinite health in this stage, uh, but it is very easy to die. Um, also, when you're accelerating, you have to just basically mash up because you have multiple different speed settings that you kind of hit up and down to go through. And if, ever, if you ever get stopped, you have to, like, cycle through them? This is so painful looking. Yeah, this is not... as good as it looks. And it lo probably doesn't look good. And it feels worse. Than it looks. Um, also because... Yeah. Of, yeah, it's right here. You're going full is speed. Is there a Whoop. time limit as well? Yes. Um... We have 27 time units, which seems to be going down pretty quickly, but I think we're kind of closer to the end. Yeah, see. Yep, well, it goes right there. Yeah, it does feel like a really bad bump and jump. But yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, we got Big Thunder, Ma Thunder Mountain in the Haunted Mansion. Uh, actually, why don't we go talk to this guy? Uh, falls in the wrong hands. Where does the story of Dumbo take place? In Texas? Nope. Oh. oh, apparently it takes place in Port. I did not know that. 
Okay, a dog with a silver key around his neck. Mouse cartoon. That is. Oh! I thought it was. I don't know if that's right. I could have sworn that. Well, whatever. Daffy's in- oh, Popeye. Popeye's not in it. Um... Cinderella's castle. Okay, so there's that silver key. Okay, so do we want to see Big Thunder Mountain or do we want to see the Haunted Mansion? Let's do, let's do Big Thunder Mountain just to get rid of it out of the way. Uh, this level sucks because it is practically luck. So we need to go, to, well, maybe not completely luck, because we need to go to the third station. Oh. Oh. Also, you need, you need to break. What's the wrong? Nope, I think I might be boned. Oh, nope. Nope, I'm hosed. Or. Nope! There we go. Yeah, by the way, that level sucks really badly. Okay, yeah, one more level. I know there's a there's your number. Okay. Okay, so much like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, except we start out with an attack and we have a limited amount of ammo though. Ah, vampire killer, I see. Okay. So, ooh, a spooky customer. You know, I've been to I've been to Disney World before, and I think I've been in like several times as a kid because I used to live somewhere that was close enough driving distance to it. Uh, I think I think I've been in the Haunted Mansion a grand total of once. I don't. I think I've been to the Haunted Mansion once. I don't really remember it. I remember the Animal Kingdom in Epcot more than... Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, is that I remember the other... Magic Kingdom's not my personal favorite. I would say it's actually my least favorite of them, except for I forgot the, the Animal Kingdom exists. Granted, I like zoos a lot, so... I don't like being outside, that's a problem. <laughs> True. Yeah, Epcot is definitely the best. Yep. Oh, what hit yeah. me? I love, uh, it could be like the hit the box. I think I got smushed. Like yeah, that's what I think it was. But yeah, I love Epcot. Walt Disney's secret communist, uh, uh, home in the, in the middle of the United States. Also, a really good place to get Pocky and Romney. Yes.
Oh god. So here's the here's the thing that sucks about this part is that getting hit in this particular part means basically instant death. Good. It's be it's truly is ah. a Castlevania game. Here's the thing that sucks about these is that they fall down, except you get kind of stuttered, uh, which means that you can't jump off of it if it's falling down. Oh, so. There we go. Oh, I guess there's two of them. Actually, why don't I... Oh, I have a lot of stars. Oh, I'll just do this. Oh, the invincibility now? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, and there's... I think that's all of them? Yep. Then just go to Cinderella's castle. And that's it. Now, child, you shall be entombed for the for the secret frozen corpse oh, of oh. Walt Disney. Also, I like the fact that it's like, oh, you're now do the parade. Except here's the lot, here's the ending. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that that that's that's it. Uh, yeah. So, um, I would probably say that counts as attack. Because there really isn't a whole lot of areas that involve dex, because I would also say that really isn't dexterity that it's required, it's luck. Like, yeah, almost luck and clairvoyance is sometimes. Luck, luck base. Um, yeah, so... Um, I am going to say I am not going to place it high on this list. Uh... Uh, in fact, I would probably say I would play... I don't know if I'd... I'd almost say I'd rather play Nemesis 3 than this. I don't know. At least Nem at least Super Pac... I mean, at least this game isn't jarring like Nemesis 3 was. So I'd probably rather play Super Pac-Man than that. There. 20.5? Magic Kingdom. So 19, 1990. Um, uh, that was by Capcom. Oop. Um, that is an NES game. Oh, let's also call that an action game. Let's see. Should I call that... Happy? Or should I just say that's atonal? I think, I mean, it's Disney characters. So even, even in, like, the Haunted Mansion, they were kind of cute, scary. I don't think I'd call it cute, but yeah. Actually, yeah. Happy makes sense. It is the happy place on Earth. Even though that game sucks. Um, OST. The soundtrack's pretty good. I mean, it's a Yoko Shinomura soundtrack. So... Yeah. I, would have, I don't know if I'd go straight B territory, but it's at least a C. Why don't... Hmm. How about... How about I just put it C? That sounds best. Okay. Um, art. 
The sprite work is not bad. If it if there is, I mean, there is no real issues with the sprite work, and like what they did with, I mean, the map of Disney World or the the Magic Kingdom could I'm I'm sure it could be better, but I mean, it is an NES game after all. Um, so I don't know exactly what I'd be expecting. But at least inside the attractions themselves, the graphics aren't bad. I might, uh, I might, I might put it. A, I'd I'd give it a B. B. Yeah, B because it's 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 a unique it's a unique done. It's just it's it's more of a result of primitive the not primitive, not that word. It's just early tech versus. Yeah. It's what you had. Yeah. I would probably give mechanics a C at best. I'm th I was thinking like, D because even as an yeah, action no, game, was... like it's Capcom, they should they should yeah. be able to make a game that's better than that. So yeah, D. Uh, Impact. Uh, this is a game that I mostly I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Usually not in good terms though. Yeah. So I'm thinking probably a C. That would be my pick as well. Uh, age. Uh, this is aged incredibly poorly. Yep. So, uh, let's see what else I'd give it a D. I'd probably give it a D. Um, um, touch. Uh, this game is really not nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm I I'm actually thinking E territory because you die one like you die. I mean, granted, you can heal yourself in the middle of a, a stage if you have enough money or enough stars, but it's pretty brutal about that. Though, granted, you can continue infinite amount of times, but still. This game does not believe in checkpoints, though granted the stages are short enough to begin with. But there is a lot of luck involved as well. So I would actually probably give it a knee. This game hates you. Yeah. Which is weird for being that. a Disney game. But yeah. Uh, that is Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, so I will actually give you all a choice. Do you want to see another NES Disney game? Or do you want to see... Uh, another magic or another uh, theme park based game. I'll. Mm, I say Legend Magic Night. Kingdom. I I missed the question. You want to see more Walt Disney World theme park based games or more Mickey Mouse based games? This is a terrible choice. Uh, uh, let's go with Walt Disney. Yeah, let's go with Walt Disney. Okay. So next game. Is um, we actually saw this referenced uh, in a question, oddly enough. So, this is a game by Tommy. So, this is Mickey no Mick or er, was it Mickey no Tokyo Disneyland Daivoken? So basically, advent, or Mickey's advent, or Great Adventure in uh, Tokyo Disneyland. I hate this song. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, this, this MIDI version of the Mickey Mouse Club. Okay, let's take a look at the options first. So let's see what we got. Normal, easy, let's just play an easy. Um, this is a really weird control scheme because they give you the option of whether or not to set uh, R, to, R to jump. This game has, it's not like it's an up jump thing, uh, but uh, yeah, if you want to turn our jump, sure, I'm going to turn it off because why would you do that? And just leave gas and water. Those will make sense once we get into the game, why it's gas and water. So is, wait, is this Castle of Illusion or is that a totally different game? Castle of Illusion is a completely different game. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, granted, this is, as you can also tell, this is very much a Japanese game. So I'm not going to be able to read a good majority of this. 
other than I can see I can see where Mickey is. This is, this is good. Oh, let me back up so we can see if there's even any. Eh. There's many. I think that's a total. I think that's attraction. So they're talking about it. They're talking about something. So yeah, uh, the reason why you have gas and water is because your main method of attack are balloons. God, I wish I could speed up this text. Nope, you'll never be able to. Okay. Okay, anyway. Okay, so, our first stage. Adod... I think that's Adventureland? And our first attack, er, first level is, uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I think that's Caribe... or Carib... No... And I guess that's gonna be... That's Pirate. But yeah. Okay, so we are Mickey. We are Mickey. We have... Water balloons are our main attack. We can hold it up. Throw bigger ones. Uh, if we hold down the water balloon button and then hold down, we can make a platform we can jump on. Also, we have a slightly upward attack with that balloon. Uh, but the other balloon, you can use as a uh, kind of... A method of trans- or not transportation, but like maneuvering. Oh! That's a neat mechanic, actually. Whoop! Also, mimic. I guess. Ish. Okay. What a terrible mimic! It just has a person inside. Okay. Also, holy shit, that balloon noise is. Awful. Yep. It is. It really is. But I really like this kind of mechanic, yeah. though. Also, whenever you let go of the button, or you will kind of rocket knight your adventures your way out, which kinda is not great because uh, that is a good way to get yourself hurt. Like I'm surprised I almost didn't get hurt there. Yeah, fuck that rock. Ow. Oh, that works. You got through that one on the skin of your teeth, Lolo. Yep. Ow. Oh, also, you can double tap to or double tap to uh, dash. Oh. That hit that hit sound effect is kind of weak. Yeah, it's it's pretty pathetic. Uh, also, is it just me or is the side stream being a bit wonky? Yeah, um, I thought it was my connection. Oh, uh, it 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 does seem like it's dropping frames a good bit. Uh, let me check the actual stream to see if it is dropping frames as well. Uh, a little bit, but not a whole lot. GDQ is over, right? So it's not that. Or is this Twitch? No, well, so it's the side. 
It's also a science room, so there might be something up with my, uh, setting. Ow. Okay. Let me just jump. Um, let's see. Well, let's see if I can turn. Maybe something's just not... Um, maybe something's causing... Do not... Do not restart my computer now. I don't know what would be causing it, because I don't see anything weird up. Let me just close out Chrome just in case. And then let me take a look at Task Manager. I don't see anything out of the ordinary, so... Hmm. Hopefully it just... Hopefully it'll fix itself. This game is just bizarre. Yeah. It really is. And all of the sound effects are awful. That said, it's a really good looking game, which isn't that surprising. Yeah. My only complaint is that it is kind of slow. Also, it, def it definitely has the di oh. it definitely has the Disney thing of um oh um I like that whenever they like they refer to lives as tries. Mm. Oh. Which is something that is actually really common in Disney games. Well, yeah, because Mickey never dies. At least so long as Disney has say it. Yes, Mickey will never belong to the public domain. Damn right! Nope. Disney! It's because he's hashtag iconic. Yeah, no, this game doesn't seem bad. Uh, yeah, nope. other than some sound design choices that are questionable, the game itself is perfectly good. And personally, I'm not huge on the balloon mechanic, but it's a neat idea. Yeah. Exactly, Terry, and like, Disney games pretty much always- I hate this. I hate this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this game's garbage. Man, it's great how you can use that for mobility, but also, holy shit, it is annoying. Yeah. Yep. It's like it, it's like a really clunky uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. Is basically what it is. Yeah. No, like yeah, actually. Do we know if any of the deve developing team on this went on to go to Rocket Knight Adventures, or...? I, d I think this came... I think this came afterwards. Ah. Uh. Okay, first boss. Oh, nice. Way to skip a good chunk of the level. It's Pete. Oh, who could have seen this game? What's the name of the game? Uh... Mickey... What was it? Mickey no Tokyo... or Disneyland... Daiboken, I believe. Is 
develop my Tome. Yep. Uh, yep, in 94. Yeah, so the PlayStation went down in Japan at this point. Also, I have no idea what the technical and balloon bonuses are. Oh, I bet you balloon's probably your health, and I don't know what the technical bonus is. Up there's Daisy. Let's see, what's the next attraction? Western... Uh, Western Land. Rocket Knight Adventures was a year earlier. I believe that is Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, Big, that's... Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah. Right. I can't believe this came out in a post-Rocket Knight world. I'm glad Frank's in the chat to help out. Part sucks. <laughs> also, if you if you double tap the balloon button as you let go of it, uh, you do kind of you don't have to fly away. But it's really annoying that to double tap. Especially since you don't have a balloon while you're doing that, or you can't like throw water balloons while you're doing that. Which I mean makes sense. Can't really Mickey's a weirdo pervert stripping these men of all their goddamn clothes. Look, why, Mickey? Why do you do this? It's real weird and not okay. Okay! I believe it was a... Oh, it's an invincibility. Oh no, I meant you fucking up getting under those spikes. Right. <laughs> Abuse of uh, iframes is what that was. Also, I like the fact that there is a... I, I get... This... There was not... It also says something to the game that there is not a... Uh, long play video of it on the World of Long Plays YouTube channel. Uh, the only long play I could find of this uh, was three hours long, and it was mostly some guy dicking around one stage <laughs> because he couldn't do a jump properly. Nice. Or they should. They could. I, I guess that's a long play of sorts. Longer play? A needlessly long play. You know, this, this mine is kind of unstable. Of course, it's an insurance fraud scheme, you see. Oh, I thought you were going to say Disney. Did I? Uh, oh, yes. Thunder Mountain. Now, are we going to actually, you know, go on the... Oh, I guess... Only jump on one side. Yep. Yep. Good. I'm glad I have to tap this. Ow. Uh. What? What are you supposed to do? Oh, okay. Nope. You have to mash it. <laughs> well, not mash. Well, whoop. Mash harder. Oh. Yeah, all of the sound design in this game is kind of atrocious. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. That'd be. Oh. 
It was a valiant attempt. Oh! Yeah, I guess that will last for Herbie for some reason. Well, yeah, because it's foreground. Oh, oh, wait, no. what? Oh. What? Oh, there's spikes there. Is there? Did I miss something? Oh! I'm sorry, what? Huh? Please make it stop. Please, Lola. Working on it. <laughs> there we go. That's sure a puzzle solution. Okay, the problem is that the UI is blocking my view of the things that I'm going to run into. Yeah, this... Oh, that's kind of neat. It does build like a sort of a staircase, kind of. Why would you do this to me in particular? I can't believe that this is where Mickey's adventure ends. Can you Bye. use a, a water balloon jump to maybe go through that way? Okay, sure. <laughs> okay, whatever. Sure. I wish. Yeah, the game really should have been able to communicate that more clearly. Also, these spikes are really bad. Ah. They also blend yeah. in too well. Yeah, because I mean, the G meter or the, your gas meter is the same color. Not even just that, it's like even if the meter wasn't there, the screen blocks most of them. Yeah, and it's like... Oh. Oh, it's Peter. There's a water pistol. Oh. 
Oh, this- oh, this timing sucks. Uh, no clue if these are all these levels are this long. I believe they are. This game is fairly short. Oh, jeez. I like how just anti come at you, she just kind of falls over. You did it. It's Peach's job to play the heel. Yep. Oh, here's Donald. So this is... Krita Country. Predator Country? It's Brashu Mountain. So that's a Splash Mountain. Credit Country is apparently what they call... Uh, apparently there's a specific thing in Disney, the Disneyland that is called Critter Country, which I did not realize until I looked it up about uh, two hours ago. But yeah, it's, entirely, it's an area that's pretty much de entirely devoted to Splash Mountain. The one kind of Disney actual attraction that I've been on, like, of the... Quote unquote roller coaster that I've been on. Also, you can definitely tell it is not based, they don't seem to have taken the theme that actual Splash Mountain is based on. Are you saying Splash Mountain isn't full of meat? Uh, also, Splash Mountain is like. I have always found Splash Mountain to be fascinating because they have an attraction to that is entirely devoted to a movie that they definitely do not want people seeing. Yep. Oh. Good yeah. old Song of the South. Yep. Oh. Yeah, Splash Mountain is basically entirely... Uh, so, also a reason why... Because I was wondering, I'm like, well, Splash Mountain's kind of one of the bigger things. Like, I wonder why it wasn't in uh, Adventures of Magic Kingdom. Uh, because Splash Mountain is actually a lot newer than I thought it was. Uh, Splash Mountain did not actually start... Like, they did not start developing Splash Mountain until 1989. I actually found a copy of Song of, Song of the South in the Wild. I didn't burn it. It, <laughs> it was weird. It was just like, huh, I didn't think they, they still existed. I thought Disney burned all the prints. Well, it wasn't so much that they, didn't, they burnt all the prints. They did one print and then like, yeah, let's not make any more. Because there was like one VHS run and that's about it. Okay, I'm sorry, what? I can't believe it, a battle toad. No. Am I oh, oh, I see. I think I see what I'm supposed to do. This boss fight kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, this is an interesting idea, but again. Bosses also take too much hits and too many hits. There we go. Also, I don't. Also, it's surprising is that with the, um, it doesn't seem like the music actually based on anything. Because you figured there'd be some sort of like 
zippity doo zippity doo Yeah, zippity -day. something like that. Again, the other, the only other only thing that ever that survived from uh, Song of the South. But I mean, do I mean the music's pretty good in general? Yeah, it's not bad. It's just you'd figure like it's Disney, so like they'd want to, you know, have all their different songs and as much as they possibly can. Whoop! Okay, how far back? Oh, that goes all the way back there. Uh, actually, I think we've probably seen enough of this game. Because I think there's like five more attractions after that, so... Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because I know uh, Space Mountain's in here, I know... Uh, I think, yeah, there's quite a bit more, and we've basically seen all the big stuff. So yeah, um, that is Mickey's Grand Adventure in the Tokyo Disneyland. So I think that would fall under Resistance. Now let's see. Where would we put this? I'm thinking I would probably play I'd probably put it in I'm thinking in between Double Dragon and Pirates of the Dark Water. Yeah. Okay. And I broken. Um, and this is episode 1994. By Tomy for the SNES. Um, also just an action game. Uh, not a visual novel. Why did it go in reverse? I don't see the problem. It clearly was. Let's see. Would I call... Let's see. Would that be more cute or happy? Or... Yeah. Pretty happy. And it's Disney. Yeah. Soundtrack was pretty good. I'm sorry. I couldn't notice it over the awful sound effects. That is true. So maybe that's probably... OST's probably a C. Uh... Craft, or not craft, uh, world building slash art. Yeah, it's really good. So, let's see. Yeah, because, yeah, the art's really good. That, that I can definitely say, like, the design of all that, like, the worlds are all meant to look like what they're supposed to. Uh, so, let's see. But, is it B good or A good? I'm thinking probably B good. I don't know if I'd say it's... Like yeah. It's be good. Uh, craft. They tried I something different, a, but... I'll give it a C at best. Yeah, that's the thing, is I don't think it really works that well. Uh, but... Still, they I'll give them a little bit for effort. Uh, yeah, and, I mean, you gotta respect that at least they tried. Yeah. Uh, this is also going down... Oh, what? Why is reverse them? I don't know. Probably because I'm so close to the bottom. Uh, yep. Yep, there. I'm just wondering why I reverse the order. Yeah, that's really weird. Um, age. Uh, I did this game's age quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. So maybe C or D? Yeah, C sounds fine for me. It's not like it's age that bad. It's... Uh, it's an old SNES game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, touch. I'd also probably give that a C as well. It um, didn't seem terribly difficult. Yeah. It's just a matter of learning the weird balloon mechanics. Yeah. Okay, so... There's that. 
Okay, so I'm trying to see. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's that. Um, so yeah, that's the only two main, like there are some other games that are basically like, oh, in 3D you can go and like visit Disney World and like, like there was some sort of like PC, like Encarta style thing. But that's the kind of the main games I could find that kind of actually take you through Disney World. But there are definitely games that involve you playing as the mouse himself. Uh, yeah. Um, especially one of the more notorious ones uh, is this one right here. That I'm loading up right now. So this, once it loads, because I bet you it's going to take a while to load. Um, so the weird thing is that this game actually has a name that it actually it has two names, neither or depending upon the region, neither of which are the title screen. So they're called. It's called completely different games or different names in both in uh, both the J uh, Japan and the U.S. or the Western regions, uh, but they're not on the title screen, which I always kind of. Thought was kind of funny. Um, in Japan, this game was known as Mickey Mouse. Um, was it? Fu um, what, oh, let's see. Uh, it's like Fushigana, or it's like F Fushiji no Kuni no uh, Dai or Boken or something like that. Uh, basically, Mickey Mouse Adventures in uh, Adventures of Alice in Wonderland or something like that. Uh, but in the U.S. or Western. This game is known as, oh, I'm not going to, um, yeah, this was called, oh, why is it, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, that's why. Yeah, this is called uh, Mickey Mouse Capate. This game's really weird. Uh, Capcom published it in the, in the US, but it was actually a Hudson Soft game. Uh, yeah, this game has a really, really weird mechanic to it. We are both Mickey and Minnie. Uh, if you're wondering what exactly that means, let me go up this ladder. Or, let's see, can I, let's see. Let me do, okay, maybe, yeah. Uh, so, you control Mickey and Minnie at the same time, however, if they get stuck on something, or if one of them gets stuck on something that the other one doesn't, uh, you... basically, you're screwed. It's a also, good game design. Also, you have no projectile at the start, until you get this, in which Mickey can shoot, Minnie cannot. Also, one important thing to note is that Mickey is the only one that can take damage. Also, these spiders you cannot hit until they actually start moving. So basically, our goal right now is to find a key at the end of this level. Uh, but there is a key that we need to get to a different level. Also, you see you see behind that little those shades, there's uh, something behind here. Here's kind of a big thing about this game. Sometimes there are, are things that you can shoot that are invisible. And if you shoot them enough times, things will appear. The problem with that is that sometimes the thing that you uncover will kidnap Minnie. Like you do. Meaning you have to find other things, other hidden areas that will take you to a thing in which you have a one in like five chance, like you have to pick one, and it may or may not contain Minnie, and you have to do that until you find Minnie again. Nope. Oh. Yeah, because you see right here where I'm, I'm on the ladder? If I jump... Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's a good way of putting it. Buddy system. Please, why would you do this, Frank? Why would you do this to me specifically? Whoop! Oh, hit something. Oh, there it is.
Okay, so now that I've found another star, I can shoot twice. Uh, this allows us to do something very important. Okay, these brooms suck because you can only kill them by hitting the actual handle. Also, those blue chandeliers will fall on you. What a rude chandelier. Also, something that's great is that if I do this... If you get in vulnerability and then go to the boss, you just immediately get it taken away. That's rude. Okay, let, let me see if I can do this properly. There's something really great that you can do. Yep, here we go. Because many can't take damage. Guess what the best way of defeating almost every boss that you can do that to is? Tell me. Yeah, it's, I need it's to know. Teach that. me your secrets. It, it, is, it is just getting Minnie in a way, in a spot where she is up by the boss where you are completely safe. Fuck the system, Mini only cares about winning. Yep. This is just a fact. Yeah. Mini will cut your throat if she, th if she thinks it'll get her ahead faster. the next stage. The ocean. This stage sucks. Really badly. Oh? Because it shows off one of the really bad things about Mini. You see how there's pits? Oh, oh god, she's gonna no. fall on all of them. Yep. If Minnie falls, so do you. Holy shit, that's stupid. Plus, there's a lot of things that are out to kill you. Thankfully, Minnie cannot get kidnapped here. Oh, that diamond. Good. Ball health back. So those waves just kind of suck. Cause yeah, also with that jellyfish too is a- Oh jeez! Yeah, getting contact damage takes a lot of health away. Uh, I would say progressively worse except for the last stage just isn't- doesn't su suck quite so much. Uh, this stage, as you can probably expect, also sucks. Uh, take a note of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, because, like other wood game, or like other wood stages in other games, uh, this is a maze. Oh, Great. Oh, okay. So the thing is, is that you always want to have a new color when you go into a door. Okay, so we've gone in the right thing.
Nope, that's going backwards. Okay. Uh, that's not until the, uh, I think the next one does- Oh! Gotta be careful about those jumps! Okay. I think I might be hosed. Oh, nope, I'm good. Perfect. Okay, so you see- Oh, I'm hitting something. Also, take a note. Right here. Okay, see how we looped around? You've got to shoot that, the, that tree by this loop, which for some reason you could not do at the start. Now that is some garbage. Time for the shortest stage in the game. This one only partially sucks because all the enemies kind of... It's very short, but the enemies are kind of hard. at the boss. Look at this attack pattern. Wait, you don't like knife? You don't know like knife? What likes knife? Oh, I can get her. Uh, Minnie likes knife. Why do you do this to Minnie? She's fine. And now for the final stage. The castle. Uh, it's another one of these stages. Oh boy, and guess why this stage sucks? <laughs> I don't know why. Explain it to me. These goddamn platforms. Oh, 
Thankfully, only one person needs to actually get the key. Stuck on Thick's mini. Save time. Okay, and here's the final boss. It's Maleficent for some reason. Thank you. What a weird sprite, holy hell. Yep, also, she does a lot of damage. Let's restart a little bit. Okay. Oh, damn it. Oh, you know what? I think I'll just put us right at the boss fight, so I don't. Th I think we should be good. There's a rhythm that you just have to get into. Okay, let's. Oh. Okay. Almost got it. I apologize for the sound hell. There we go. No, it's really good and I love it. It feels great. Okay, so. We have found Alice. Also, by the way, this has one of the easiest stage select codes. Just hold down select in a direction. And you can just go to any stage. That is a Mickey Mouse campaign. It's not it a sure good game. Was a game. So let's see. Uh... 
I would probably put it above stone protectors. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much farther up I'd put it. That I would probably play Kick Fighter Challenger over it. Yeah. That was 1988. Uh, actually, it was 87. Oh, okay. It took about a year and a half to come to the U.S. Okay. Yeah, because I'm looking at the the copyright screen says uh, 88, but that's probably just the U.S. release. Yeah, I, I looked it up just to be sure. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Action. We say that's happy or cute. Uh, once again, I, I would... This one was actually cute, given the art style uh, and all the enemies and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, let's... At least that's my opinion. Let's just do that. Then. Okay. <laughs> Soundtrack. Uh... Irritating? Yeah. 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 The, um, art slash world building. I mean, the sprites, you could tell what they were, and they were kind of okay. For its age, I guess. So maybe a B? Or C. Um, I don't know. I wasn't huge on the art style personally. Okay, so C or are you saying D territory? Uh, no, definitely not D. C or B. Um, I, I'm not sure which. I'll probably go C actually. Well, yeah, you could recognize all the characters more or less. So some of the worlds are kind of basic. And the castle just kind yeah. of was a little garish. Craft. Mechanical. I mean, they were trying something different. Yeah, but it's kind of a hot mess. At what cost, though? I would probably put a D. Behold the mini shield. Uh, impact. Uh, this game is pretty notorious. Like, I'm thinking probably C. Yeah, it sounds fun. Uh, age. Let me just do this. That game is aged incredibly poorly. Uh, also, because, like, remember, like, the world, like, the, um, wood thing with the whole, like... Maze. Yeah, and the hidden stuff. So. Uh, touch. Uh, I would say either D, or I don't know if it's quite E territory, but I'd probably say D. It's definitely not E, but, yeah, D would make more sense. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so uh, that's Mickey uh, Mouse Capade. Uh, not every game starring Min or Mickey is necessarily like that, um, because there are in fact uh, some good games that have uh, that star the mouse. I don't believe you. Well, let's take a look at this and see if I'm right. Um, let's see. Uh, once it loads. Um, so, if I remember correctly, this actually got a... Um, oh, it, like, there was a remake of this game, actually, that came out a little while ago. Uh, but we'll see once it loads. Because it was loading actually faster when I first started, like, when I first did my testing before I started, but, uh... 
Apparently it's no longer doing that. Okay, so this is a Sega game. What's a pun a mouse? Is that what her name was? Cause that's the, was that always what the, the witch from Snow White's name was? This Rebel? Huh. But yeah, anyway. This is Castle of Illusion. Starring Mickey Mouse. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, so let's see, what are our difficulty levels? Starring Mickey Mouse as himself. We got practice, got hard, we got normal. Let's just play normal. And I'm going to switch it so that that is there. Okay. Yeah, this yeah, because this game just recently got kind of a remake. Uh, I forgot who exactly did it. But yeah, basically we need to go into this castle. Okay. Yeah, because there's also World of Illusion. Uh, but yeah, this is the first one. This is Castle of Illusion. Okay, so it's a side-scrolling platformer. Uh, we have a jump. We don't have any uh, items, so we can't attack. Uh, if you jump and then hold down, you will then actually bounce on enemies. But if you just hold down the jump button, you will not. Also, here are our method of attack. Or at least our long-range method of attack. What is this music? This is some very 90s SPC music. This almost sounds like a DOS game. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? There's something very, like... There's not much to it, but it, there is something very charming about it. Mickey just looks a bit too excited about goddamn everything. Whoop. Wait, what? What was that? The the bag? Yeah. I uh it was items. They gave me ten of them. Alright. Whoop. The jumping is kind of floaty. But you have a decent amount of control to it. So those are like the spiders out of Potful Mail. He does kind of have the smug Pac-Man walk cycle a little bit. He does. God, I hate it. Oh, 
Here, if actually, if you hold down the jump button, you'll actually jump. Get a, yep. Get a bigger bounce. Oh, not gonna go for all the goodies. Nope. How dare you? Brutal boss. Not sure what the secret button says. My God, a door. Oh, there's no door here. Oh man, you gotta work for it. Work for your door. Okay, the only thing I hate about this music is that it makes me, it reminds me of the King's Quest V Ants theme. Oh god, you're right. Why would you do this to me specifically? <laughs> He's fucking dead. I like the animation of just flying to space. games have that. Oh, nope, that's wrong direction. Oh, 
I don't know exactly what all practice mode entails, but... Just in case you miss something. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, there's key. Oh. And there's the exit. It's that thing from Chemical Plant Zone. Huh? Can't bounce on the jelly. Why is there jelly in this toy world? I don't know. How'd they do this? It's weird! Also, I appreciate that your, uh, your items oh. change with each world. Yeah, I don't think they... At least for the most part, they haven't changed that terrible. Like, it's still the same arc as the apple does. Well, yeah, but... I just meant, like, aesthetically. It's yes. a nice little touch. It is nice. Also, the fact that they give you ones before every time you need it is also very nice. like a Koopa shell. Yeah, I guess. Uh, as we all know, fucking unicycles are incredibly stable and will keep going without someone on them. Oh. Naturally, you gotta hold up instead of down. Yeah, not really huge on the screen flipping gimmick. Like, it's not really doing anything with it. Yeah, just like, oh, that's neat. But... Let's... 
Oh, let's try this. Okay, what? Oh, I see. Yo, this boss kind of sucks. Yeah. Also, it is incredibly cursed. Oh. Seriously, I hate this design. Yeah, hopefully just one more hit. Three. Jokes on you, fucker. There we go. I can't wait for Mickey to get all the Chaos Emeralds. A volcano. Our items didn't change. Also, yeah, I like yeah. that bad design. It's a good, like, goofy-ass bad oh. design, and I love it. But also, I, I, I kinda wish these levels were more related to Disney. Yeah. Finally, we've entered the ruins of La Meclana. <laughs> I look forward to getting the Hell Temple prizes, Mickey. Oh god, no. <laughs> I just wanted to see where it would put us back if we ended up dying. Then look, what's wrong with Mickey in a sling bikini? One second. <laughs> Damn. What? Nothing. Fully not adding a quote. Oh, I see. <laughs> so I keep on forgetting I actually have that thing. <laughs> that is indeed a function you, you possess. So what do you think is going to come out first? Kingdom Hearts 3 or La Mulana 2? Uh... I mean, we know that Kingdom Hearts 3 is an actual thing. I mean, La Mulana 2 has been showing progress, too. I mean... This is a technical test, sure. 
Well, no, I'm pretty sure there have been updates from the, uh... Oh, has there been? Because the last time I yeah. saw it was just... Oh, yeah, that's right, they did add the Steam page added. Yeah, that too. I think they said it was supposed to be, like, this year, too. One of these. Let's do this. Yeah, Tyrion's saying the last update on Kickstarter page was the 29th of June. Oh, okay. So my question stands. Oh, there's probably going to be uh, a lot of Lana, too. Yeah. I'm okay with. True. I mean, at least that has the potential to be good. Yeah, talking oh. about that water is super what? Wait. What, what is this fight? I don't know. Wait, are these statues of fucking scuba divers? I don't know, but that fight was a lot shorter than the last one. Okay, so... Yeah, that is stage three night. Oh. oh, it's just. Let's just see what the theme for this one is. Huh. I like the. Oh! Okay. God, those are some weird-looking sprites. Also, we're Apple again. Oh. Okay, I'm debating... I kind of wanted to turn this off to look at the last game, but I kind of want to see more of this level. Milk Ocean. Actually, let me check this out. Oh, I can go in for... I could probably do one more level. It's... it's an ocean full of milk. So what the fuck is this music? I don't know, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Sound of goddamn madness. <laughs> oh. 
Um. What? Like that entire level is like a goddamn fever dream. <laughs> Oh, oh that's kind of cute. Was it like a hidden level? I don't know. I do like that little touch. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it's it's a dumb little thing, but I appreciate it. God, these are some angry books. Jesus. Whoop. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh... Like, God, I'm just getting, like, Yume Nikki flashbacks. Switch. There we go. These letters suck. Can't even hit him. Let's go down there. Right. Okay, apparently just all the open teacups you can just go into. Zelda 2. That's exactly what this fight is! That is exactly what this fight is!
Man, this is that was probably my favorite level so far. Yeah, that was really neat. Cause it was just fucking bizarre. Oh. Oh, and now we have... You know what? Actually, how about this? Uh, I have an episode in which I play games that I hadn't quite finished. Why don't we... Because I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't want this stream to last forever. So uh, I'm going to put that on hold for right now. Because I think I kind of want to see the end of this. So I am going to come back to this at a later date because I think I need to see the end of this. So, uh, I'm not gonna rank, not gonna rank this quite yet. Um, but, uh, that seemed, from what we've played, it seems really neat. So, with that, let's move on to our last game uh, because I know the ne next game won't take too terribly long. So, Disney has more than just Mickey Mouse. And if we're talking about games in which we are going on vacation, we should do is a little bit of world sightseeing. And you know it's a really easy way to be able to go on vacation. Finally, it's time for Kingdom Hearts. Is if you have... Oh, I just realized I just probably time this out. Um, yeah, so uh, going on like a world vacation, um, it may it is a lot easier to do that um, if say you're on a gummy ship. You were the richest duck in Duckburg. Yes. God damn it! Why didn't you load right there? That would be great. <laughs> Come on, you stupid thing. Mm. Yes. This is DuckTales. Uh, another Capcom uh, Disney game. Uh, I am just gonna pop it on normal. Uh, so yeah, basically the point of this game is that, uh, kind of almost in a Mega Man kind of, kind of fashion, uh, you have, there are five worlds that you can visit. Uh, you need to get the treasure out of each world. Uh, I'm gonna start, start with the Amazon. Because it's kind of the basic level. Okay, so the thing is, is that, yeah, you're Scrooge McDuck. Um, if you just jump and try, you can't, like, ju just normally jump, you have to use your cane. So if you hold down uh, B and then hold down, you will pogo. You don't want to pogo on the, the flowers because they will just eat you up. That's, oh god damn it! That's what happens if you try and poke on the uh, uh, flowers. God, oh god. Okay. There's apparently a. Those things have a very tiny hitbox, apparently. Okay, so here's launch pad. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay, I am not doing well. Let's see, where does that put me? Oh. 
Oh wow, that hit me twice. Okay. Oh, it just does two damage. Oh, that's a lot. Let's not have that happen. God, I don't remember this being so difficult when I was testing it. That's the problem with being on um, proverbial can or camera. God. And then Okay, you fall a lot faster than I thought you did. Whoop, and then whoop, let's go. Okay, so there's Launchpad right there. Uh, he will basically let, uh, if you think you're stuck in the level, uh, he can basically take you back to your mansion. Also, you can pogo against fight, uh, spikes. I don't have that, but I'll just say if I. Oh, what? We can over here, you know, with this. Okay, good. Actually. Yep, because every treasure has a treasure keeper. Did get remade, uh, which I almost did that version, except uh, apparently they did some changes. So I figured I'll just take a look at this version. I mean, also, this is Retro Rank Rhapsody. Yes. Uh, so why don't I go to the stage that people probably know from this game? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, but yeah. let's appreciate that there are images of cheese on the monitor. Yes. Uh, because that is the treasure that we need to find. Why? Why would you get invincibility to interrupt the song, you son of a bitch? It's back! Uh... But yes. Yeah, and the thing that I remember about the, the voice acting in the remake was that a lot of people kind of... There's some people who were not fans of the voice acting, uh, because it, they, uh, brought back the original cast, including the 90-year-old voice actor from Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. Oh, don't need to go to Launchpad. 
Uh, yeah, I remember hearing some things like, why it seems like the voice actor was acting a little slow. But that, it's because he was 90. <laughs> yup. Uh, also, it was, I think it was like the last project that he played, or where he was had the chance to play a Scrooge McDuck before he died. Yeah, that's, I don't remember his name. Oh. oh, right, I think I need to go over here. That was it, it was Alan Young. Yeah. Uh, and that was three years before his death. Yep. He was 93 at the time of the recording of yeah. Remastered. God damn it. God damn. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's dedication. Oh! Oh, he kept acting as Scrooge, Mc Scrooge McDuck for the next few years until he died. Oh, okay. Uh, cause they, they, Disney had a Mickey Mouse thing going, and Scrooge appeared on it. Oh, the House of Mouse, so uh, was it the House of Mouse or something like that? Something like that. It's not over here. He lived a long-ass life, though. Yeah. I will still forever appreciate that he played Haggis McMutton in Curse of Monkey Island. Oh god. <laughs> okay, there must be a- because I, I think I was testing this on easy, and I think the hitboxes seemed like they were a lot more forgiving in that, in that but... Okay, because yeah, here's the thing- the thing is, eventually you get to a wall that you can't pass, and now we can. I wouldn't have gone through be able to go through that door without the UFO key. Okay, but let's appreciate the line bless me bagpipes. Yes. Just for a second. God, it's weird to think about that David Tennant's now the voice of Scrooge McDuck. Huh. Cause I watched a little bit of that new uh because they made a new DuckTales. I watched a little bit of it and it wasn't didn't seem that bad. But yeah, Dave Tennant's the voice of uh, Scrooge McDuck in that. Oh. Yeah. He do and he doesn't do a bad job. He doesn't do a bad job, either. I appreciate the suicidal duck. Farewell. Yes. Yeah, that's just a really tricky position. Yeah, this... Yeah. This is rude! <laughs> Yeah, you would come across this wall and then get my duck. Makes you, uh... Halfway. God damn it. Good, I'm glad that they brought back Darkwing Duck. God, Darkwing Duck was great, though. Which, I mean, that was... That was a completely different... Because that wasn't Donald Duck, that was... Was it... Nope. Was it Drake Mallard is the guy's name? I thought it was Drake something. Uh, Drake Mallard. It was Drake Mallard. There's the moon. Okay, so should we go to Transylvania, the African mines, or the Himalayas? Uh, so we don't need blood diamonds, and I don't think he should be going mountain climbing, so let's go find some vampires. Alright. Also... 
Good to know that my neighbors still have leftover fireworks. Why? Oh no. Save him, please. Can't wait to fight a Dracula. Does he seem to be dropping a lot of frames? Hold on. Check. Ah! Uh, yeah, it's probably a little bit more than it should be. It's at 2%, or like 1.9%, I think. Or no, 2.9%. Uh, yeah, a lot of that's uh, backloaded. Like, like, it seems to be dropping a lot more frames for me, at least lately. Huh. Um... Yeah, it seems like it was hitting a spike. Okay, so it looks like there's a fake wall somewhere. An illusion wall! Finally, it's Dark Souls. <laughs> also, a little bit of uh, changes between versions. Um, uh, on the Japanese version, those uh, they would have crosses on the coffins. Uh, Rip and piss. Oh, it's nice seeing you again. That's fine, don't worry. Oh, goddamn, the guys couldn't respawn. That is entirely on you, buddy. Huh. I want it! Apparently I just... How the hell do I get that? You got a pogo. Yeah, but I can't get... I can't get through there. Gotta be short enough. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Smack the toe, I guess. Oh. I'm glad that you ignored more ice cream. What? Why don't you try using the, the mirror that was on the right? I couldn't get to it. Oh, on the right? Yeah. Let's see. Nope. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no, that was really good. <laughs> Those are some powerful minecarts. So I just hit the toe. Ah. Eat shit, nerd. Oh.
<laughs> okay, well, apparently that wasn't a bad solution. Guess it was a dead end? Well, it's saying you need to go down from there. Big old circle. Hmm. What is off to the left? Oh, the entrance. Yeah, don't forget that there is an illusory wall. That's what I was trying to remember, or trying to see where it would be. That uh, gave me an extra bit of help. Huh. That was worthless. We're gonna run out of time! Oh, right. Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. You dirty motherfucker. Okay, good. I think her name's Ursula the Spell, I think? Sound like that. Or it's like Morgan the Spell or something like that? I just know that she has the name word spell in her name. Now, if I remember correctly, the other stages are not nearly as maze-like. Alright, Himalayas or African mines. Himalayas. The more we can avoid blood diamonds, the better. Also, one thing I really hate about the stage that I think it's cute, but it's really annoying. If you try and pogo into the snow, you get stuck. On the one hand, that's kind of cute, but on the other hand, it's really annoying. Huh. 
I like the straight from Mega Man Sprite. Oh, that's not good. Congrats, you did it. Alright, you got one stage left. No! Guess it's time to get blood diamonds. Oh. Wait, what? Sigh! Why are we here? We gotta get a key. Can we get the key? And we got the UFO key. Maybe I should tell you what I came across while looking uh, through some DuckTail stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, I came across the, and I quote, animated foot scene wiki. Because it has a bit on a character from DuckTales. Okay. Good to know that it exists. <laughs> yeah, I will not be right. putting a link of that in the video. <laughs> Don't! Welcome back. Hey. God, this just makes me want to play the remake, though. Uh, actually, uh, maybe you were going the right way, because remember that there was a second uh, mirror that we didn't go through? Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find that path. Uh, I just can't remember where it was. You know the mirror you went under? It was under there. It went in, excuse me. It was under that mirror. Okay. Remember it was the wall underneath it? It was the illusory wall? Oh, you're right. Yeah, because we went to the right, let's go to the left. That just takes us right here. Oh. Was there anything else in there? No. Maybe let's go back... Okay. Yeah, this just makes me oh. wish we were playing the, playing the remake of this game instead. That was completely unnecessary. Yeah. Or was it? Did Jake Kaufman do the soundtrack for the yes. remake? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jake Kaufman does pretty much everything for WayForward. That's right, I forgot it was a WayForward joint. Yep. And they'll pretty much do anything if you pay them enough. I mean, hey, they usually do good work. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you usually be at least, like, alright. Wasn't it like and one of the last? Stuff tends to be better. I mean, yeah. 
But wasn't it, was it the, the DuckTales game one of the last games that actually had Alan Cummings doing the voice? Uh, Alan Young, but Alan no. Young. Alan Young. As we went over. It was yeah. the last video game with his voice. I mean, more like, point. was that like one of the last things, the credited things he did this? Uh, the second to last. The other thing was the, the Mickey Mouse cartoon that Disney had going at the time. Ah. Hidden treasure. Treasure. I love well, then, treasure. Because I know a lot that DuckTales game had a lot of the old cast right before some of a lot of the other people. Oh God! Died. Really? That God, is a, what a dick move. move. Behold, a Scrooge McDuck ascends. Oh okay, real. What are you? Behold the Slug King? Okay. That was quick. Yeah. Let's see, now that we got That's... everything. Let's go to the moon, we got the UFO key. Except, come to Dracula Duck Manor. God damn it! <laughs> Why can we never escape? What is a what is a duck but a miserable pile of secrets? Okay, what other paths have we not gone on? The one straight to hell. I thought that's where we were already on. God, the ghosts are such goddamn dicks. Things explored everywhere. Well, maybe it's in an area that was previously like that previously had nothing. Nope. Or maybe you just need to go back to the boss. I don't know. That's where I was gonna head. I really hate the hitboxes in this game. They're not great. Okay, let's try this one more time. Once more, with feeling. Finally, it's time to fight quite Thank you for permitting that. <laughs> I was just looking at the side, I'm like, wait, what's What's up with this message? Is it a bit something, or...? Yeah, Automod is... I'm, I'm not mad that Automod's a bit aggressive, but 
I mean, there's probably a reason for it, but I just find it really funny. Yeah. No, Autobot is great when you swear a lot, let me tell you. <laughs> As someone who has been repeatedly fucked by Automod in the past. Okay, this boss fight sucks. Oh, I see. God, also how random, like, the pathing on these fucking bats is, is decidedly not great. Yeah. I... You can never trust a Quackula. Please die. It's that, it's the, it's that guy, I want to call him like Haggis, I think it's Haggis McDuck, or no, Haggis something. It's a really stupid name. In the, in the lamest chase scene. Yeah, what the fuck was that? Expert treasure hunter. You got seven million. Seven million is not gonna make you the richest duck in the world. I'm sorry, buddy. I mean, this is, this is a pocket. Ch this was a pocket change thing that were that uh, Scrooge was just taking the his nephews out for. Honestly, but here's the thing. Oh. But. The, ri the treasure, the real treasure was the nephews we made along the way or something? We did not make Duck those back! Shut Duck up! Duck 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 so yes, that is DuckTales. <laughs> DuckTales. I'm sorry, I'm uh, obligated. No you aren't! Oh, <laughs> yes, I no, I the thing I'm funny funny is you thought to the wrong part of the song. I know! Yes, Flint Hark Glim Glom Gold is not a real name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that is DuckTales. Let's see, does it... Is it just gonna end? No, oh, does it... Does it just... No, soft just, it just... No, yep, it's soft lot. <laughs> Good, you're gonna have this playing for the end of time. If you want. <laughs> but I, always, yes. I always love it when old games do that. Yes, that that is that. Um Yeah. I mean yes, it is a cartoon duck names, but that's still stupid. Um yes. Uh that is DuckTales. Um I would put that under the attack category. Um also, it's pretty obvious what the, the, the song that's going to represent this episode is. <laughs> yes, of which, course. Which, why don't I just go ahead and... Okay, so, DuckTales. And here I thought it was going to be Eat the Rich. I'm... Do not answer that one seriously, just back off and ignore it. I mean... You say that... God damn it. Where is it?
You say that, and I can offer it. <laughs> and this video gets silence for copyright claim. No, it's fine. It's tiny and shitty enough to never get an issue. I know I got it. There's got to be a repeat somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I'll just have this play in the background. Okay. DuckTales. Uh, I would probably play it above Venture or probably play it. Hmm. I'd probably actually play Panic Restaurant over that. Because DuckTales has some pretty finicky hitboxes. That sound good? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. I regret nothing. <laughs> um, oh god, when did that come out? Game. Yep. That would be uh eighty nine. Nineteen eighty nine. Uh, Ina Fune was actually an artist on it. Oh, okay. Okay, so is that gonna be happy or cute? Uh, I or should I, or should I just be, or should I actually say it's overly very driven? <laughs> actually, it's yes, that we're gonna be incredibly honest here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, soundtrack. I give it an A. Okay. Um, ours. I think it was alright. Okay, uh, so probably C or B? Yeah. Mm, probably leaning a bit towards C. Yeah, it was, it was nothing exceptional. Mechanics. Uh, I, I think you could probably parse that one out a bit more. I... <laughs> I would probably say C, if not D. Yeah, it was. It, it seemed interesting, but also it was super finicky. Yeah. In in, in kind of mean at points. Yeah. I'm gonna go D actually. Uh, impact. Yes. Yeah, like A or A or B. I'm thinking more B because I don't think it necessarily have to play, but it's a pretty. It was one, probably it's, the first of the Capcom made Disney games of which there was an utter massive load of. Yeah, it, it's it's the one that everyone knows. Yes. Uh, like, of there, the Disney there, games. There's the, only one other that I could think of for the NES that is more, that could be more well known. Uh, also I, based on, also based on a Disney cartoon. A Disney like Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> uh, also for age, I would definitely put. I'm C thinking probably D. D. I'm thinking yeah. D. It is. It is not aged amazingly. Uh, also touch, I'd probably put D because. Goddamn Transylvania. Yeah, like, like, like going going back to age. It's like because the sprite flickering was pretty bad at times. Yeah. And it's something that kind of bugged me. Yeah. Also, I'm not gonna screw that up, but that should get this. 
Okay. Oh, cause it... Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that later. Figure out how to get rid of those. Do all the sort. Okay. Anyway, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> um, Thank you! <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, so yeah, even that, the X list is starting to... Oh, by the way, did you see... Also, I've added some new tones, if you have not noticed. Like, say, for example, yeah. this one right here. The very anime one, and also the cool one, and the spooky one. Ugu, motherfucker. Uh, so, yeah. That is going Ugu. to do it for tonight. So, that was a good look at Disney games. And I just gotta remember that I gotta finish Cash Full of Illusion. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, have a good night. If you would like to keep up to date with Retro Rank Rhapsody, you can follow me on Twitter at Lolo de Puzzlo, or join my Discord server by going to the URL discord.ldp.life. Thank you for watching, and I hope you stop by again.